Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to do quick and easy at font face declarations using Compass and a helper called Font Files. So to get started here, I just wanted to quick show the original app font face code. As you can see, it's not a whole ton of code, but every single uh, format that you have, you have to specify the URL of the font and then the format um, for every single one, which is, you know, pretty cool, whatever, it works and it's fine. And Compass doesn't really save you that much time, but it saves you enough where it's worth it. So to give you a quick example about how to use font face here, what I've done is I have a fonts folder um, and it actually just has uh, this chunk five and it has four different versions of it. And so I'm gonna throw that in my style sheets because that's where Compass is gonna be looking for it. So I'm gonna keep it here. If you want to change the config RB file, you can go on Compass's website and uh, see exactly what the reference for that is um, and that you can actually specify where your fonts file is. Personally, I don't mind having my fonts here in my style sheets, so I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Um, so I'll leave this open here so I can grab these font titles in a second. Um, so what we're gonna do, let's delete this real quick, is uh, we're going to use a mix-in called font face and that mixin is going to be using a helper called font files to grab your font files when all you basically have to do is include the font title and it's going to auto generate the path for you um, so you might be familiar with helpers we used helpers when we were making sprites so far so when we did our sprite work um, in one of the previous tutorials that was a helper um, we'll get into more helpers in future tutorials, but for right now, you know, you just have to know that they exist. You can check out the documentation to read a little bit more. So let's get started by the same way we add any mixin. We're just going to do add include, and then we're going to font hyphen face, and then in parentheses, uh, and then in quotes, we're going to have the title that we're going to use throughout our CSS. As you can see, I've already written this font family chunk five in here because that's the font we're using so our font five font face title is going to be chunk five and then here you're just going to say comma and then we're going to use our helper so it's font files and then parentheses again and here's where you're going to want to specify the paths to your files if these files are in your fonts folder where your config rb is uh, specified then you don't have to put anything, but let's say inside of our style sheets we had another folder, you would have to say, like, okay, here's a good example. Let's say if we had a file folder and then the fonts were living in here, you would say file hyphen and then your font title. But since ours are just in the fonts folder, we're not gonna do that. Pull that out, delete this, okay. So, I'm actually just going to copy some of these titles here because I don't want to type all these out. Um, leave this right here. So this is where you put your font files. So we need to wrap this in quotes and then the title of our font, file. Um, and then we're going to do a comma and then the same thing for the next one. Um, this one is a W-O-F-F -F. and then inside of this parenthesis again, comma, quotes, paste, then we have an SVG, and then comma, quotes, paste, and EOT. Okay, so now if we save this, it's going to write all of our format code for us. It's going to add the uh, path to this file. Let's check this out. Okay, now let's look at our CSS. Actually, it looks like there's a problem. Invalid CSS Okay, maybe I might have had an extra quote or something. Let's check this out. So we have quotes, comma, quotes, comma, quotes, comma, quotes. Oh, we needed a semicolon at the end here. My bad there. Okay, let's save this. Okay, now let's look at our CSS. Okay, no problems. As you can see, we have our font family, and then the source path is the URL, is style sheets, fonts, and then our web font which is um, exactly where it is. And then you, as you can see, it fills in the format for us. Um, yeah, everything. So it actually writes us um, 
this format code, it brings in the path URLs, and if you wanted to change it, of course you could change it later, and then can change it in your config RB, uh, let's say if you move it. So that's really great, because then you wouldn't have to go through and edit all these paths every single time, you know, if you changed it, and I mean, guess that's four paths that you don't have to update. So here's our font face, it's finding everything. So now the body has a font family of chunk five. I'm just gonna say this once again for good measure, and then uh, actually, Exit out of this. Let's refresh the page. As you can see, all of our text is now chunk five, and it's, it's looking awesome. Uh, yeah. So as you can see, this font face works really well. It saves you a little bit of typing, and it's you know it's pretty painless. All you have to have is the font file names, and uh, know where Compass is going to be looking for them. So that's Compass's add font face mixin using the font files helper. Once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Hit us up at Twitter, Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. Let us know what you want to see more of. We got lots more stuff coming. Um, as always, you know, feel free to subscribe if you want. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.